as you can see, we are getting ready to do an update to the Knowledge Aware Certification Program, and I would just like to officially introduce our next presenters. Of course, they probably don't need an introduction, but Marcus Fisher is here, VP of Engineering and CTO at Ralphus Technology and IKAA Board President, as well as Tim Glau, Engineering Specialist at Caterpillar and IKAA Board Member. Take it away, gentlemen. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, once again, a thank you to all of you, you know, to joining the conference today. That's really one of our key conferences. And um, when uh, we put it together, it's really nice to see it live, to see faces, to see interest, to see questions. And that's what really makes this uh, conference worthwhile and really one of the highlights, you know, of our IKA association. What I would like to talk a lot about a little bit is really um, when we were sitting together in August and discussing it together with Tim and our board, I was sitting there and say, hey Tim, how long are we already doing this one? And what have we achieved so far? And uh, this one was really right now a right uh, point for me to see what have we achieved, what were the main points. So the highlight is for sure the conference, but the highlight are really also the questions, you know, the, uh, the input, the feedback you are giving. And we get the feedback once again, you know, out of our daily life, but also the questions when you work together with Aurus. And once again, thanks Aurus to being our main sponsor for this event. And uh, also what you find, you know, the material on our webpage. So I really recommend everybody, you know, to go to the webpage, check it out, see what's going on. And the other point is also um, that we do most of this thing, you know, of the material, of the development of this material privately in our free time. And for this one, it's always nice to get input and also to get volunteers, you know, that want to spend a little bit of their free time together with the board, together in the different working groups, you know, that we put the uh, topics together. A big thank you. Without them, I wouldn't have done it and we couldn't do it for the conference is really the board, you know, and you see here the board members. And once again, a big thank you, a big round of applause for our board members that help us to put the material together. When we started this one in 2019, you know, we are really a kind of group of enthusiasts and we think really knowledge aware is the method, you know, to transfer how we provide knowledge. And uh, when I discuss with my friends in different industries, they all have the same questions, you know, how do we avoid mistakes, how do we get it together, and I think come to the conference, you know, we are typically automotive guys, but uh, more suppliers, most of the time, you find there the ideas because we are very good in processes, we are very good in advanced thinking, and that's something that also other industries should copy. And for this one, also kindly ask you with your friends and everything, you know, selfish as I am as a board member, multiply really the thought, multiply this one also in other industries because that really helps us, you know, to uh, increase this uh, conference, to get more input, to make this process better. Once again, I think everybody who is here knows really the slogan, you know, the motto, what we try, where we do the knowledge transformation, and that's really knowledge in the flow, and I think most people that stayed here for the advanced uh, session, they are more than familiar with one, so I don't have to explain it anymore in detail, but on the other hand, um, I really think, um, go there, check out our webpage, you know, there's a QR code, find out what's out there. Also, let us know if you see anything what's missing, you know, we are more than happy to create more content, and if you want to help content, you know, create content, please contact us. There's a little page that says about, and then on the bottom is contact. So please shoot us an email, and uh, for sure we'll get a reply. The other thing is really the membership. You know, I make also a little promotion. So if you want to join us, you know, that's uh, really one of the key things, but you can also join the committees with content. That's really how we create the fun things that you see here, and uh, that helps us really to keep this uh, show and to keep this uh, conference going. Um, the other thing what I also want to do is uh, send a little reminder before we get to the main content, and main content is uh, presented by Tim. 
uh, for the basic training that we introduced last year. I don't know how many of you joined the basic training. Can you raise a hand? Has everybody, yeah, has everybody done the basic training? Raise your hand in the room. Okay, a few. So a few of us, okay. That's perfect. The main thing about this basic training, if you really want to be a transform agent, you know, in your company and your boss doesn't know, you know, what you're talking about, what does this in the flow, what does this knowledge in the flow mean, you know, what is needed, then I really would recommend uh, the basic class, the basic training, because that gives a really nice uh, comprehensive um, overview. Uh, you find here also the basic course, you know, that's important. And uh, in this case, you know, I'm, you heard it that Jeff uh, could not offer, could not join today. But at least I have him here, you know, with all his energy. <laughs> and he was our moderator sports <laughs> spokesperson and trainer for this basic training. So um, if you enjoy him, if you enjoy his presentation, so then it's another reason to join the basic class and uh, to get the certificate. Uh, which is uh, really um, the basic overview helps to understand, helps to uh, promote this knowledge aware in the company and also to create awareness, you know, of your bosses, managers, you know, who don't have necessarily the time, you know, to go through all the explanation. I think it's very comprehensive. And this was our first release. And in the end, uh, it comes down to, you know, why should you be certified? We mentioned last year, but it's really that you fully understand the concept, um, that you fully um, can uh, confirm or, or con convey really the concept of knowledge aware and really have the opportunity to learn for yourself because I think this method is really something you can use not only at work, it's also something you can use in your private life, the thought process, the thought pattern. And with this one in mind, we said we have to get to the next level, and the next level is really our professional training. This one we discussed over the whole year, and we have also two, I would say, main workhorses, <laughs> if you don't mind the expression. It's Tim, Jeff, and uh, also Susan, sorry, three. And uh, they all supported this one where we are. Um, a little bit more help, you know, I repeat myself, a little more help is always appreciated. But uh, for this one, uh, Tim is uh, presenting right now where we are, what we achieved. And we go with this one, hopefully, to the release by end of the year, beginning of next year, first quarter. Thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully, join, go on the web page, and join the IKA Knowledge Aware Association. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Marcus, for uh, introducing the topic. I mean, certification, obviously, you may not know exactly what that means at this point. Uh, if you take the first course, it gives you an overview of everything that that we're trying to uh, get into your into your hearts, into your minds, into your organizations. But what the, what's interesting here is that as we move on, um, what we're finding is there's a need also to build professionalism in this as well. And how can you take this information and bring it home to your home projects, to your home teams, and start to apply it and be champions for that? Um, and be able to know how to lead. It's it's a it's one thing to know the concepts, but it's another thing to be able to lead those concepts and to really integrate and and help your teams in that way. So um, that's where we got the baseline for professional training certification here. So for knowledge aware training too, what we're uh, working on here is we're trying to figure out a way in which we can uh, start looking at the work stream. And the work stream really is defined as those things w in which your knowledge that you have, how does it infiltrate and get into your processes? And the workflow, the work stream of the knowledge flow that goes into your processes is what we're trying to identify here. That's a key and critical part. I mean, we can talk about the tools, we can talk about the knowledge, but the thing is, is that we need to figure out how do we best get that knowledge and get put correctly into your flow of work so that the right decisions are being made. That's what we want to understand. So we need, now need to start to kind of transition to this work stream or where the knowledge will end up residing in. And so we want to discuss uh, also how that knowledge participates in decision making as well as we're going to be looking at some Six Sigma and some teaming related concepts there as well. Um, what we find is it's not just the knowledge, it is the teaming and how you actually interact with the knowledge that has also some importance. And so being able to train your teams on that is something that we want to start to get in, into uh, those that would take this training. 
Um, also, obviously, it always helps with examples. So we're going to have some examples in there and then some post-training discussions is what, what we also have envisioned here. So the idea here is maybe be a three-prong approach, one where it would be kind of more of this academic kind of uh, thing, very similar maybe what we had with the first training. The second one would then be kind of like how do we start getting some practical real world examples and the third one is I, I want to maybe figure out how we can connect with you so that you can then take your home projects to us ask questions um, maybe we interact with you in that way based on the first two trains about work stream and then how you make this work for your for your camp okay for your area that's what we have in mind um, so you probably remember the knowledge flows model. The knowledge flows model has four components, one being the model-based enterprise. And so for a work stream context, what we're talking about is this is where the knowledge ends up. This is where it plays. This is where um, the, the areas by which you're doing your work, where that knowledge is consumed and actually infiltrating that work and then doing, and doing something. The second part is the knowledge stream flow. And this is kind of parts two and three within the work stream method. So this is saying what we want is we want to say what things are necessary that's out there. So we start with the process. We start, it's kind of like Steve Covey in, his, in the second rule of, of beginning with the end in mind. We start with the end. Who's your customer? What are the things by which that customer finds satisfaction with what product or solutions that you're generating? And then the knowledge that helps you make those decisions in each step of the process becomes part two. Part three is then there's a lot of input from that. We want to make sure we have safe sources. We want to make sure that we identify where those sources uh, for that knowledge are coming from. I mean, we talked about that just a little while ago in some of these presentations here, that those, those gold, gold nugget knowledge, the gold source of that knowledge. And then the fourth thing is down at the very bottom here. It's that flow back. So it's AI assisted. And we've been talking about AI, and I'm going to talk a little bit more, more about AI tomorrow, about how this kind of goes in that full cycle 360 degree flow there. So in, in kind of like a bullet point, um, first thing we talk about is clarifying the evidence of knowledge and its connectives to the decision making as part of the problem solving and tasks. That's the first thing that we do. And so I call that establishing deliverable evidence. And it's the nouns. It's like the nouns in your sentence. Okay. Second thing is evaluating step by step evolution necessary to accomplish evidentiary outcomes. So once you start with the output that you're generating for your customer, for your downstream partner, then you look upstream, you say, okay, what are the things that are necessary to effectively and efficiently mature each and every step to make sure that I have a quality out? put in that first step here in clarifying the evidence, okay? on That's kind of equivalent to the actions being the verbs. It's kind of like a, it's a actionable state of the things that you do to bring a quality output. So we're working this process backwards. Third, alignment of people and tools. So it's great that we have these processes, but we need to have people and we need to have the right tools in order to do that work, okay? That's the step three that we want to evaluate. Step four, is it's great we have people and tools, but we need to have the capability and the, and the competency of those individuals. We can't just assign anybody off the street willy-nilly to do some of these things, right? I mean, you have some great people within your organizations that have done this for years or have, you know, specific skill sets that they've built over the years, and we want to make sure that we enable those and understand those capabilities, those competencies within those people so that we make sure that also your tools are also capable in supporting that earlier step, which is the people and tools necessary to fill the step-by-step -step actions and to clarify that evidence. And then when we get to that step five, it's really about quantity and balance. So it's great that I have these people, it's great that I have these tools, but what happens if you don't have enough? If you don't have enough that's right size to the output that you're trying to generate, you know, you might say, well, I have a solution or output that I need to generate, but I need to do 100 of them and I only have two people. <laughs> Well, the other side of the thing in that balance would be, well, maybe I have a lot of people and I only have to do one or two of these. And so man, then it gives us an opportunity to reallocate or to start looking at those individuals and how can I assign them to other things that will help maybe other areas of, of the business. Knowledge aware, this is all knowledge in a sense, right? People are really containers of knowledge. And that knowledge is the key and critical component to your organizations that's going to drive value, drive value to your customers coming from your organization to your customers and the products that you that you supply. 
So our target arrival is later this year. We've already started filming on some of these concepts and we'll be working towards that. So um, hopefully we'll have something later this year to early next year. That's as Marcus had said. All right, that should hopefully whet your appetite a little bit about where we're heading in that. Um, this is just another element of, of maturing in the knowledge aware cycle. Um, some have talked about even a further, um, a further training, even beyond training two. And we're talking about even beyond professional train the trainer type things as well. So we're, we're working towards uh, concepting that up. Uh, any questions? I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and leave it for questions. Amy, do we have anything yeah, online there? Nothing online yet okay. that I see here. So, okay. yeah, we should see if anyone has one right away. Well, Marcus and I are right here in the front. I mean, I've been trying to get, I got around this, this group. We do oh, have we got one. one in the yeah. Back? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you talk about um, Six Sigma. Are you looking at Six Sigma from a, just a lean engineering, or are you also looking from design for Six Sigma? Yeah, so you're talking about like DFSS. And so um, what, what I'm thinking about is like SIPOC, okay? Is everybody familiar with SIPOC? So, you have so more operational excellence, but uh, not necessarily yeah. like KPIs and things like that in the, oh, okay. in the Six Sigma world? Or, or are you leaning more towards like the design and the continuous improvement? Um, a little bit more on the activities, the design elements by which you, you, know, you, you uh, apply Six Sigma to the methods of, of what we're doing. I mean, it's really simple in the sense of, you know, what we're trying to identify is what's the key and critical knowledge? What's the acute knowledge that's necessary to consume this moment, this problem set, this task that needs to be developed? You know, what's the key knowledge that's necessary to move that effectively with quality to the next step? So some of the concepts that we have in Six Sigma help us with that. Um, some of the other things in balance, for instance, that some of you are, are familiar with a full-time equivalent, right? You know, what full-time equivalent is, is really saying, um, based on the efficiency that's necessary in order to conduct a task, depending on who it is or how many people are required, you would assign a full-time equivalent value for that. So, you know, there's some of these concepts that we're bringing in for that. Yeah. Good question. Any, any other questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, like I said, Marcus and I are right here in front. By all means, you know, we're we're not uh, unfriendly. So and come you said to you are talking about AI tomorrow as well. Yes, I'll be talking about AI. So uh, tomorrow, um, we've talked. To, everybody knows about generative AI, right? But we're not talking about synthetic AI. And so I'm going to bring that topic up tomorrow. And on the other hand, I think. Sorry. Don't also don't forget uh, in the end tomorrow. You know, that's do we have this one? And don't forget tomorrow, you know, I think I always like this uh, competition, the cool KPEC, you know, that's one of the key things, you know, to identify uh, one of the cool stuff you can do with the knowledge aware process. We have AI in it, and uh, on the other hand, you know, we really try to lay out, you know, the structure right now. That's the reason why Tim presented. If you see there anything where I think, hey, in the professional stream, I would like to see something different because when we discuss, you know, we know how we work, how our companies work, what we see in the field, and that means really we want to have once again the examples, we want to have the theory, you know, that you can understand it, and we want to have also uh, the way, you know, that you can really become the professional expert and knowledge aware. And once again, that's the concept, you know, that we are working on. We made 50% progress, 60. We are already pretty far, I think, along. But if you see anything that's missing, you know, please, you know, send an email, talk with us, contact us, because we don't do this one for ourselves. You know, I think that's in the end for me still a greater good, you know, for different companies. Uh, we do it voluntarily, you know, in our free time. But on the other hand, you know, it really relies also on input. So those are just, at the moment, are the highlights, you know, the headlines, you know, what we are putting together. But as I said, if you see anything, please stop by, discuss it. Um, Tim is very familiar with this one. I'm a little bit farther away familiar with this one. But we have it together in working groups. And uh, please uh, speak up if you see anything. Thanks very much. And then we give it back to Amy. Yeah. He, Tim wants to talk real quick. No, I was just going to say a lot, a lot of stuff that, that we would like to train on or at least get some ideas on based on our you know, experience would be around what, what challenges you're faced with. 
And so as you bring challenges forward, it helps us to construct those things by which we can then focus the right train to the right, you know, to meet the right needs. And if you're not talking to us, then, then we can't really do that effectively. So Perfect. thank you. Yeah. Thank you both. All right. Appreciate you.